وسلم السيد ان ذا اوثنتيك نيريشن يئس ان يعبده المصلون في جزيره العرب سيتان هاز ديسبيرد تو بي ووشيب ان اريبيا بات هي ويل بي كونتنت باي كرييتينج ديفيجنز اند هاتريد امونغ ذا مسلمز اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم سو تيك كير اند دونت فول انتو ذا تراب ذات هاز بين سيت باي ذس كيرست وان جوين سالم الامري in the satanic traps next assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillah was salatu was salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala wa man attaba hudahi la yawmiddin amma ba'd my dear brothers and sisters and dear viewers we are continuing the topic and by under the title riya and its effects on the ummah and this sickness or this disease which is a form of shirk is is a form of the hidden shirk the riya may allah save all of us from falling into this uh, type of of disease or having this type of disease also riya brings humiliation prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says and this is in sahih at-tarheeb at targhib by imam mundari he said he who draws people's attention to his work Allah will expose his reality to all his creation and will humiliate and degrade him subhanallah the one who just throws the people he wants the people to look at him he wants the people to praise him so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will expose his reality people sooner or later they're going to find that this person is a hypocrite this person is not sincere this person is not doing things for the sake of his lord so don't think that allah will let you carry on deceiving the people one day people are going to find out your reality so it's better that we work in our hearts it's better that we purify our hearts and really single out allah azza wa jal with all our acts with all our actions and we do these things purely to please him and only him riya my dear brothers and sisters increases the dalal the misguidance if you carry on doing things for showing off for the people to praise you then you will be misguided and you will start drifting and deviating from the straight path riya my dear brothers and sisters brings the defeat the defeat as a nation or as individual because you are not doing things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala having said this now we move to another thing which is sometimes a person might get confused is this part of riya or not is it part of this hidden shirk or not but in reality they are not part of shirk things that are not riya so we are going to inshallah to elaborate on these things they don't fall under riya number 1 people's appreciation people's praise for someone's good deeds people they say well done mashallah excellent super all these things so is this riya no they are not riya providing that they are telling the truth so you because this will also motivate the person and boost his morale or her morale so this is something encouraged in islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah Yunus that is surah number 10 ayah 58 qul fa bi fadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi fa bi dhalika falyafrahu huwa khayrun mimma yajma'un say in the bounty of Allah and his mercy in that let them rejoice that is better than the wealth they hold so here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying let them rejoice feel happy and alhamdulillah you feel happy about yourself you feel happy about your iman you feel happy when you maintain your prayers you feel happy when you attend the congregational prayers and the masjid etc so this is not a sign don't get worried 
that, oh, maybe this is a sign of Riya, that I have this feeling inside me. No, no, it's not. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, because Abu Dar, he said, Oh Allah's Messenger, what do you think of a person who does a righteous deed exclusively for Allah, but yet the people praise him for that? Abu Dar is saying, Oh Prophet of Allah, we do things only seeking Allah's pleasure. But the people, they praise us. The people, they, they praise us, they thank us. What to do in this case? Guess what the Prophet ﷺ said? He said, Tilka ajil bushra al mu'min. That is the quickest glad tidings, the quickest glad news from Allah for the believer. And the hadith is in Sahih Muslim and in Sunan Ibn Majah. So this is just an urgent message from Allah. May Allah accept our deeds and your deeds. May Allah grant us the ikhlas. So this is an urgent message from Allah. O oh my servant, you are doing fine. And I'm happy with you. So the people, they praise you. And you are doing these things because he knows. He knows, Allah knows that you are doing these things for his sake. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he makes the people to praise you. He makes the people to love you. But also, we have to be very careful. Very careful. Because some people are weak. So if you praise him, he might become arrogant. So if you want to praise your brother, don't praise him in his presence. Praise him in his absence. Praise him or her in his or her absence. So here anyway, Prophet Muhammad said, that is the quickest glad tidings from Allah for the believer, so that you carry on doing the same thing. So that is not riya, alhamdulillah. Another type, a person becomes more active when he or she sees or mixes with the people. And this is true. Man is a social being. So when you mix with the people, they motivate you. When you mix with the people who are pious and righteous, they also motivate you to do good deeds. A sister, for instance, is not wearing hijab. And she went to an Islamic conference, gathering. And all the sisters were wearing hijab. After staying one day or two days with them, she started wearing the hijab. Can we tell her now, this is just you, you put the hijab on because of the sisters around you, so you are a hypocrite, this is showing off, this is riya? No. It's the nature, that's why this is the barakah of jama'ah. This is the blessing of the togetherness. So when you are together, you, that spirit, the spirit of the Iman affects everyone. So you feel you are happy, you feel that you want to do good deeds because everyone around you is doing good deeds. So that is not Riya at all. Imam Ibn Qudama, rahimahullah, he said in his beautiful book, Minhaj al Qasuddin, he said, perhaps, listen to this, quote, perhaps sometimes one spends most of the night praying with a group of people. Though his normal qiyam is only for one hour, or he finds them fasting, so he fasts with them, and had he not met them, he would not have that activity. Also, not disclosing your own sins is not riya. As a matter of fact, this is what the Islam recommends. Because some people who grew up in some cultures, non-Islamic cultures, and they are influenced by that culture, they say, we have to show, we have to disclose our sins. Especially when a brother wants to marry a sister. He would go to the sister and he'd say, you know, I have to confess to you. I was like this and this and this. And then he would start narrating and telling her his past. And the sister would say, okay, I, I was not a good sister, you know. But alhamdulillah, now I am practicing and I was this and this and this and that. Never do that. It is haram. Never disclose your past. Never tell anything about your past. Your past has to be buried. Prophet Muhammad made it very, very clear.